I have an entire team full of walk-ons, and we're just a 14 overall, with our best player being an abysmal 45 overall. And I will be rebuilding this team of walk-ons until we win a national title. The program we will be taking over for this task is Bowling Green State University, and the only coach capable of completing such a challenge is Coach Freddie Tickles, who has a history of taking over less fortunate programs at the Division III and Division II level, but is ready to prove his coaching talents this time at the Division I level. Sadly for Coach Tickles and his football program, there's going to be some more challenges to overcome. We're going to play our new rival Ohio State every single season. For our recruiting, we can only recruit three-star recruits. Recruits. That is until we beat our rival Ohio State. Then we can go after four and five star recruits. And finally, once we win the MAC conference, we're going to get promoted to the Big Ten. This didn't phase Coach Tickles. He still believes he can rebuild this team of walk ons and win a national title. <laughs> Nine points. That's it, man. We lost 84 to nothing to Ohio State. Uh, every game, dude, the most points we scored was six. Okay, well, all of our points were scored in back-to-back -back weeks, but outside of that, we just got murdered every week, man, by MAC teams. Oh, goodness. At least I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> At least we have some good recruits, man. God, we're awful. Coach Tickles, what are we going to do, man? Uh, oh, God. I really want to say I'm going to miss you guys, but... What, what am I going to miss? Certainly not your football acumen, because you guys were all horrible at that. Maybe, like, your presence. Maybe some of you guys had fun personalities. But outside of that, I don't really think that Coach Tickle is going to be missing much. Transfer season is here. We picked up three guys out of the portal. Two of them from Louisiana Monroe. So a little bit of a hot spot there for Coach Tickles. And then uh, Tyron Mason from Western Michigan. I mean, these guys aren't great players. They're going to start a year as well. But, I mean, they're better than what we have. So I will, I will definitely take them. Signing day is here. And as usual, I am petrified of what's going to happen. You know, I'm just putting... 5,000 points into the other guys because uh, these guys at the bottom, like, they're not as high of an overall, and we're trailing for most of them. So the strategy is we're going after Kadirian Hall and also Co Cody Mo Maloney. Yeah, that's how you say that. We'll see how it goes. I really hope we get lucky and get both, but I'm not too optimistic, man. Did not get Cody Maloney, so that blows. He's going to Florida State. He's going to become a Seminole. We got Kadirian Hollins, though, which I'd like to see, and then Brock Tyler is also uh, going to be a Falcon. I think that's what Bowling Green State is, something like that. Like an orange Falcon, orange birdie, but yeah. I don't know how we got this guy we didn't put any points into him but hey i'm happy so this is coach tickle's first signing class and it's very petite only 10 guys signed we're gonna have to sign more lizzo's like we're gonna have to sign a lot bigger classes in the future we'll see how things go but i mean he just didn't have that many recruiting points like he's not that high of a level of a coach so in the future it should be easier but i'm still pretty happy with the first class but we picked the two kickers or we one of these guys to punter kadarian hall and so about him arnold sherman so we have a really good secondary with them and then kendrick williams our defense should be solid so i'm pretty happy about that Ooh, we signed the 1-1-1 class. I really hope we got some walk-ons that are not the ones we had beforehand because those are like 45 overall sucky walk-ons. We need some Rudys on the team. That would help us out a lot. The team is still really, really bad. The only thing I'm kind of hoping for this season, like the only thing that I think would make me happy is us like scoring double digits. Let's score more nine points, guys. I think we could do it. We got a way better team, at least a little bit better. So that feels like a reasonable goal. There is just no possible way. Somehow we finished not in last place. We were 43 overall, dude. So you're telling me we beat Buffalo Buffalo is a 74. I mean, the math is just, it just doesn't make any sense, but I mean, we were a lot better this season, so I'll take it. Southeastern Missouri, we beat them by three week one, and then Ohio State put us in a body bag. Toledo, I mean, every other game. Yeah, all these games are not very close. I mean, somewhat close. We only lost by 14. Then, well, yep, we beat Buffalo by three. There's no doubt in my mind their coach is going to get fired. That's just inexcusable. Then we lost to Akron in the final week of the season by 41. For the recruiting class this year, it's shaping up to be really, really good. I'm liking it a lot. The thing that kind of sucks, though, is I recruited three running backs and and they're all committed. So that was very stupid of Tanner, but that's just adding it to a long list of things that I do on a daily basis. That's just very idiotic. But all in all, I feel like it's a really good class. We finally got a quarterback, Nico Harris. But I mean, there's still some guys we haven't got commit yet, but we'll see how it goes on Sunday day. Players leaving stages here and every guy that's graduating, just not good at football. So not really going to miss you guys on the football side of things, but who knows, dude, maybe one of you guys were very good at magic and did like cool magic tricks and stuff because magic is very, very interesting to me. So I think Coach Tickles can miss you on that way. Pig Apo is transferring in. Definitely one of the coolest names I've ever heard in my entire life. Pig Apo. His last name sounds like the name you'd give like an alien or something. And his first name is just a little piggy. So, I mean, his first name could have been like vampire. That would have really blown his cover. So I definitely think that he would not have lasted very long in his life. I mean, if I had to choose my first name and it had to be an animal, it would not be pig, probably dog or penguin. Because those two are very, very fun creatures. But I've never met a penguin before though. But I watched the movie Happy Feet. So, I mean, that's basically the same thing. Sunny days here. And as usual, man, for Coach 
tickles, it's very, very stressful. I want these top four guys really, really badly. The good thing is we have a pretty good lead for all four of them, so we should be able to get all four of these guys. We'll see what happens, man, but I'm like 90% confident we're gonna get all four of these guys, but you know what, man? No, on my luck, we probably won't. We'll see what happens, though. Let's go, man. Math wins in the end. 90% was correct. We got every single guy that we wanted. We also got Jane Woodley, which I did not put any points into, so that is really, really awesome to see. So this is the class for Coach Tickles in the second season. Dude, 15 guys. I think last year we only signed 10, and there was a lot of 70-plus overalls, man. So yeah, like I said, just a big W this year. Like, I don't know how he recruited so well, but next year we just gotta keep doing the same thing. Keep replicating that because we are just so bad right now. Like, I know we won two games last year, but I, it shouldn't have happened. We should have gone 0-12 again. John Udo is our best commit. He's very, very good. He sounds a lot like John Doe. The guy from 7. Very, very scary person. I don't like him. Then also Deshani Delva is really good from right here in Ohio. Kyle Mathis is also from right here in Ohio. Trent Shaver from Michigan. Jason from Indiana is going to be the quarterback of the future. 6'5", 214, just a genetic specimen. Love him. And then we got a kid from Maryland, so we're recruiting, like, pretty close, except for Tristan, though. He's from Texas, but, I mean, we're recruiting really, really well. I'm happy with it. 85th class of the country. Honestly, if rankings were not dependent on stars and stuff, I think this is probably, like, a top 25 class, considering all the guys that we got. So, like, this was a big W for Coach Tickles, but he's really shown his scouting acumen on the trail, and I'm just really impressed with it, man. He did a great job. Bit by bit, brick by brick, the team's getting a little bit better every single season. That's kind of the goal. Like, it's like a baby steps type of thing right now. Like, at this point, I'd say we're almost crawling. Like, we're just kind of on the floor. We're just plopped there. We don't really know what to do. I think that would describe our team because there is just no way we're going to win that many games this season. I think the most we could win is maybe three. And there he is, our shining armor, our guiding light, Jason Brodnack, 6'5", 214, 79B. I mean, like I said, he's just a genetic freak, genetic anomaly. He's going to be a very, very good quarterback. By his senior season, he should be near the 90s. So I'm really excited to see what he can turn into here. He'll be really, really good. And a position that we've recruited really well so far early on is the quarterback room, dude. It looks really really good. We got Arnold Sherman there, uh, Trent Shaver, and then also Dante Broussard. Like, these three guys are not horrible at football. Like, they got some speed. Like, nobody's gonna run past them or anything like that. I mean, I'm sure they'll still get beat their fair share. Like, they're not Deion Sanders, but, I mean, they're pretty good. We're not projected to finish in last place, which is a welcome surprise, but, I mean, we're a 70 overall, which I'm also very, very happy about. Compared to the rest of the Mac, though, like, we're not that far off. We may be able to upset a couple teams, potentially. We'll see. One and two start of the season, which is a lot better than the rest of our competition in the Mac. I mean, every team's like 0 3, 0 2, except for us in Ohio. So, I mean, I'll take it. Ohio State, once again, they just cremated us. Then we beat out Grambling State by a lot of points. So, I like seeing that. And then Western Michigan, they just destroyed us bad. We do already have two guys committed, though, which is really, really nice to see. Tanner Gregory. So, obviously, love the name Tan Man. And then uh, Kamari Durham's also really good from Westlake, Ohio. Both high overalls, too. But Josh Hansford, he committed to Ohio. Sucks losing him to another MAC team, but it is what it is. This week, we're taking on Toledo. Apparently, they're a 90 overall, which is 20 overall higher than us. So, I'm not too confident that we're gonna win this game but we're gonna try our best and for this game against Toledo we have six guys visiting I think if we could somehow pull off the upset we'll have a really really good chance of getting most of the guys that visited for the game so we'll just see what happens coach tickles but I'm feeling optimistic we somehow had a goal line stand I really thought they were about to score a touch on us but that's good so they're only gonna get a field right here which I think is a W in my book so I'll take it and yeah it's just too easy of a kick it's unfortunate. Don't know how we're in this situation right now. We're up four points. The defense has done its job. The offense, it's done enough so far. But we need to try to get a step here at the goal line to hand off. Tackle. Oh, we missed. God dang it. Oh, my goodness. I knew this would happen, dude. We're getting freaking destroyed right now. We're down 16 points. We need to try and stop up with this third down. If we don't, then yeah, it's definitely GG's. Bring down the safeties, Tanner. Let's be a... Gr Are they really passing? Oh, my goodness. Please don't let that work. I over-pursued, and they got the first down. Yep, the dream's dead. Yeah, we finished 2-10. and 10. We're below Buffalo, even though we were ahead of them last year. So we did worse on paper than we did last year, which is pretty depressing. Went 1-8 and eight in the Cavs. I mean, I honestly thought that we'd win like three games this year, but no, only two. Lost to Northern Illinois, but we did beat Eastern Michigan in overtime. We really lost to Nickel State. The Colonels? Oh, man. I mean, the games are definitely a lot closer this season, too, which is nice. Lost to Buffalo in overtime. It freaking sucks. But honestly, I feel next year we'll make a big step up, so I'm not really like too upset or anything like that oh man i didn't recruit a punter i didn't freaking realize this guy was graduating that's unfortunate we also have a running back graduate which we recruited i think two years ago maybe last year but we got three young guys from the last recruiting cycle so we should be okay there and the rest of the guys just not good at football so i don't really think we're missing much transfer portal season is here and we hit the jackpot baby i don't even know how yeah i don't know i don't know where these i've never had this many transfer commits in one cycle so it's kind of like foreign territory for me and then these guys are like that great at football but we'll 
we'll gladly take him. The most stressful day of the year is back. Aaron, we really want you to do from right here in Ohio. We're putting 6,000 points to him. And then Jake Henry, we really need offensive line help. So we need to get this guy committed as well. But we only have 10,000 points. So this guy, Kareem Bennett Jackson. Apparently his parents ran out of room on his birth certificate. I don't know what's going on with his last name. But yeah, the rest of these guys, I mean, if we get him, we get him. If we don't, it's not really the end of the world. I just want these two. We get Aaron Rivas. So also Jake Henry and then Peter Lewis. And did that put any points to this kitty cat? But we, we got him. So this is Coach Tickle's third recruiting class. It is very petite. Only 13 guys. Like I said, it should be easier. If It, it would help if I didn't get freaking fired every single season. and have to recreate Coach Tickle's. But you know what, dude? That's part of the challenge. That's what we're living through right now. We're just pushing through. I still feel like we're doing a great job. So I'm not really going to complain. We picked up Parker Pearsall, 6'5", 234. I like him a lot. Also, Billy Rogers, Tanner Gregory. Like, we really needed linebackers and offensive linemen. And we addressed both. So this class, man, I feel like it did the team needs pretty well. So I'm looking forward to next season. Like, I think we should be able to win some more Matt Conference games. Like, the team shouldn't have too many weaknesses next year. How's your fourth ranked class in the country? It's not as good as the class last year. I feel like that's pretty obvious, but it's still a pretty stinking good class considering all the team needs that we needed. So I'm happy with it. Year four is on the horizon, Coach Tickles, and this team is not anything sexy. Like, I'm not looking at a uh, prime Sharon Stone or like a prime Selena Gomez. Like, I'm not staring at that right now, but it's still a freaking good roster, man. Like, it's not horrible. Like, we should be able to win a couple Matt Conference games this season. I feel like that's pretty reasonable goal. Jason's back at quarterback. Last year, he was kind of like a little lost puppy out there. This year, he should be a lot more mature and veteran-like, so I'm excited to see what he can do. He's got 80 speed. Like, he can run. He can throw. He can do just about everything, so I'm excited to see what he can do this year. And he has a pretty decent receiver room to throw to. Like, I'm not gonna lie. These guys are not world beaters. Like, these guys are not gonna be all Americans by any means, but they're still decent players. Like, Justin Kimber's all right. So is Tyron Mason, and then uh, Deshani Delva's also solid. So, I mean, these three guys aren't horrible. I don't want to get too excited or sound too happy, because I mean, we're still awful, but three and five is definitely better than it was last year. And our points for is almost better than our points against, which is always a good sign. So, I mean, we are trending in the right direction. It might be slow, but we're getting there. Oh man, I'm in heaven right now. I sent some blueberry muffins and they were delightful, but Ohio State, of course, they just obliterated us. Two of our wins were against FCS schools. No surprise there. Oh my goodness, dude. Western Michigan put us in a body bag. Lost to Toledo. Lost in overtime in Northern Illinois. We did beat Ball State though, and then Ohio. I mean, they destroyed us, dude. I mean, I was really hoping hoping that there'd be like no blowouts but our defense is just miserable man i honestly don't think there's a better feeling in the world than finding a song that's amazing in your ears are like an asmr it's such a great feeling that's how i feel right now but coach sickles we need to focus miami's really good i don't think we'll win this game but we'll see baby no oh come on. yeah that's not good oh yeah, well i can't really complain too much we're tied up at seven but they have the ball at the goal line which is not nice i really hope the defense could clamp down right here but we'll see let's get tackle Come on. Show no fear. Show no fear. Have... Oh. Dude, I was hoping for a poker face. <laughs> they scored a touchdown anyway. I mean, we're not down that much. It's only 14 points, but the thing is, as soon as they make this field goal, we're going to be down three possessions, and I just do not see our offense scoring 17 points to tie this game. So, unless we can somehow block this kick, I think it's GG's in the chat. Come on. Use your spidey, spidey senses. I need the... What? What? The Venom Spider-Man. Isn't that guy more mean? Oh, dang it. No. It's game over, dude. See, I knew it, dude. Finish 3-6 and six in the MAC, 5-7 and seven overall. I mean, we had no chance of making a bowl game anyway because we have, like, what? Two FCS wins, so yeah, there was no chance, but we are a lot better this season, so progress is being made, and I'd love to see it. Lost to Kent State by five, so close last there, then we smacked Buffalo by 20, and then Akron, we beat them in overtime, so we end the season on a two-game winning streak, which is just, that's good vibes, man, that's good for the team morale. As for the recruiting class this year, we have found our Messiah, our Goliath, whatever you want to call it, Caleb Bryant, 6'3", 220, 87 overall defensive Ed from Allendale, Michigan, he is the best guy we've had committed so far as videos, so I'm happy about that. He's in the class, but I'll Outside of that, the class is pretty decent. I mean, there's a lot of 65 plus overalls. It's not as good as the class from two years ago, but there's still some good depth here. Like, we hit some different position groups, so I'm not, like, too upset with it. I feel like we did a decent job. Players leaving stage, and I mean, we're losing some JUCOs and some transfers, which is kind of unfortunate. Two decent receivers, but I mean, wow. I actually know two walk-ons down here. I was about to say, we lost no walk-ons, but I've been cutting those pests, just trying to get rid of them. But all in all, I mean, we're losing some decent players, but the team should return a lot, so we should be okay. Coach Tickles hits another home run in the transfer portal dude jake schrady from michigan state is coming here he's coming back home he's from cleveland ohio which is nice to see him he's a 77 overall it's just a true fresher so this guy's definitely gonna start as soon as he sits out of here but i'm super duper happy about this guy he's gonna be one of the best players on our team pretty soon so that's a big pickup a new side days here for coach tickles and uh there's not really much that's changed we picked up a couple of new commits but i mean none of them were like that like game changer
changing or earth shattering, so I didn't really show that. But I'm pretty happy with the class all in all. I don't feel like it's horrible or anything like that, so I'm pretty happy with it. Kale Bryant, though, he's just, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just speechless. The guy's too good at football. I don't know how nobody else found him, but I'm glad that we did. Jalen Clax is also solid. Bradley Hilton, Joshua McCalle, McCalle Cooken. I think that's how you say it. McCalle? I don't know. I don't know how you say that. 77th class of the country for the Bowling Green Falcons. It's pretty decent. I mean, we can't really have like that high of a recruiting class until we beat Ohio State, which I don't even know if that's ever going to happen, bro, but we'll see. The trading results have arrived, and the team is looking a lot better than I thought it would. I'll be honest. The lowest overall in the first row is at 82, which is always a good sign. I mean, yeah, this team's got some decent depth on it, man. Like, <laughs> I'll be honest. I, if we win the MAC this year, I would not be shocked. Jason's back at quarterback. He's only got two years left. We're just hold on to it as long as we can. Like, it sucks. We're probably not going to win that many games with Jason. As we're starting quarterback, like, I don't think there's any chance we're going to win a national title in the next two seasons. But Jason, man, you've been a stud here so far. Anyone speed A7 overall. I mean, he's been a, what, three-year starter now. He's just a good player. On the defensive side for this season, I'm pretty happy with the linebacker core we had. Kendrick Williams at left outside linebacker. 91 speed. That's very, very fast. Also, Markel Boone. Yeah, I'd say see the 6'2", 242. Like him in the middle of defense. And then Tristan Bay, dude. 6'2", 232, 78 speed. He's a run stopper. I mean, these three guys aren't horrible. Like, they're three of our best players of the team. I mean, what'd you expect? They're not like Georgia-level caliber linebackers, but they're still decent. 6-1, and one, man. This is awesome to see. We're 3 and 1 in the max, so we won every non You're telling me we beat Ohio State? There's no chance. I refuse to believe that until I see it, dude. There's just no way. Yeah, that makes no sense. We beat them on the road, too? <laughs> so next year we can recruit four and five star recruits, which I am very much looking forward to. We also beat Nickel State, Southeastern Missouri State, two FCS schools, Western Michigan, Toledo, Central Michigan. I mean, you're really cleaning up, but then last week, dude, Ball State, they scored 52. That's just, ugh. And for recruiting, we lost out on the Zay Trice guy, which I'm not very happy about, dude. He's 6'5 athlete. Like, he would have been a stub, but he's going to freaking Syracuse. But for the guys we have committed, a 78 overall, 73, 70. I mean, they're not the highest overall. The lowest is 63, an athlete down here. I, I like to take athletes, even if they're, like, a lower overall, because sometimes they'll, like, go crazy up and overall. At a specific position, like, they'll jump up, like, five or eight overall. So we'll see with those two guys. I usually take them anyway. Same with Steven Sheen. Or Shine. I don't know why I said Sheen. I'm an idiot, dude. But, yeah, this class is pretty decent so far. We're playing Ohio this week, and as you guys can see, their offense is horrible. It's like Iowa level. Their defense, though, is also like Iowa level. So we're playing basically the Iowa of the Mac. We need to win this game because, I mean, we're a lot better than them. So we should be able to. This guy's a stud, dude. Could you imagine a Mac quarterback looking like this? Like, he's literally built out of a lab. Is that going to be a touchdown? Oh, my God. Dude, this, no wonder we're winning the games, dude. We got this guy, Jason Brodnack. He's just so good at football. Up 14 points. Their offense is just so peaceful, dude. Our defense is playing phenomenal. Everything's going well. I want this to be a blow. And so far, so good. Slants can never go wrong with these bad boys. They're a cheat code. See, I told you, dude. It's just, it's not fair. Okay, and he drops the ball. Are you for real, Aziz, dude? Aggressive Tanner wants to go for this, but I need to have, like, some sort of, like, clarity with the fact that, you know, we just got that. We should have gotten a touchdown, and we dropped it, so it, it could happen again. We'll just take our three points, take our three possession lead. Their offense is brutal, dude. Their quarterback's throwing, like, four picks this game. We're playing phenomenal. If we just score a kid right here, I think it's for sure GG's the chat, man. It's gonna be a touchdown. I would bet a lot of moolah. See, I told you, dude. Jason Brown, he's so much bigger than everybody else on defense. Like, that would just be so terrifying to try and tackle, man. But let's go. We're keep winning, man. GG's to the chat. Let's go, boys. 11-1. Oh, it's so great, dude. 8-1 the conference. Our points for was insane. So, those are points allowed. I mean, well, how many games did we win last year? Five? So, we jumped up six wins in just one season, man. And we still have games left. I mean, that's just incredible. Smack Miami of Ohio, Kent State, Buffalo. I mean, oh my goodness, dude. This team's playing at such a high level right now. I mean, all these teams suck. So, you got to take it with a grain of salt. But it's still impressive nonetheless. Playing Ball State in the Matt Cavers title game, they beat us in the regular season. They spoiled our perfect regular season 12-0 record, so we need to get revenge for that right here in the Matt Cavers championship. Let's go get a dub, man. Come on, Jason, you big Greek god. Oh, it's touchdown. Let's go. Big the throw. J what? He just kangarooed across the screen. He just defied all laws of physics, dude. Oh, come on. Gravity does not work like that, dude. Okay, that's ridiculous. I refuse to believe what I just saw right there. That is so stupid. We're back down at the goal line, up 7 nothing. I'm still kind of struggling with what just occurred, what my eyes just witnessed, but it doesn't matter. Touch right here, and we'll be at 14. Oh, I... Touchdown? Oh, I don't know. I that okay. You know what? I, no, it doesn't make up for what happened earlier. But either way, we got a touchdown. Let's go. We're destroying them right now. I wish you would have played this the regular season, but it's the past. I, I can't really change it. I wish I could. But oh, 25 points. Just score again right here, and it should be GG's. Oh, there it is. There it is. That could be a touchdown. Ah, yep, it is Mr. Clocks. Clocks. 
That should be GG's in the chat. There we go, Coach Tick. What's the Matt Conference Championship? The only time this video is going to be hoisted up, though. Because next year, we're going to the Big Ten. And I don't know if we're ready, but I don't care, dude. We're going to be in the playoff this year. 12 team. I'm very much looking forward to it. We got Texas A&M in the first round. I'm not really expecting much. If we can put up, like, somewhat of a fight, I'll be happy. But let's just not get murdered. Got to start strong here, dude. Especially on the road. I forgot about that. This is going to be a very challenging task. Let's make it open. Oh, God. Just run, Jason. Just run. Yeah, that's why you get a dual threat quarterback. Oh, God. That defense alignment was fast, dude. God. I don't know what's going on. We're up 11 points. Their offense has not scored at all, but that's probably going to change right here. We're at the goal, and it'd be nice if we could get a stop, but I'm not too optimistic. Hand F. Tackle. Or miss it. Dude, that, uh, that's annoying. Oh my god. Dude, tied at 24. We have to kick this field right here to win the game. I don't know how we're in this situation. I thought that we get blown out, but no, dude, we are battling, man. All we need to do is just make this kick. Please don't fudge us up, Tanner. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, two seconds left, guys. Nothing stupid. Just make the tackle. Tackle, Mr. Fettel. Oh, I just got pancaked. Oh, it didn't matter. We get the tackle. I don't know how we won this game. I'll be completely honest. I ex entirely expected a blow, and we somehow escape with a win. But we're on to the next round against UCLA. Yep, as I said, UCLA in the next round. It looks like Arkansas State also beat LSU. So just weird things are happening right now. I highly doubt we'll win this game, but I said the same thing last week. So we'll see what happens. First drive ends in a field goal, but honestly, it's just like last game. Just a solid start. Like, we moved the ball on the field pretty easily. So I don't know, man. Maybe we'll be able to pull off this upset, too. I I doubt it, but we'll see. Yeah, we're down one point. <laughs> this game's really, really close, so we have a chance to take the lead right here, so let's just try to take advantage of a Jason. Come on, Jason. Be smart, buddy. Yep, the slants, baby. The sl nope. I'm an idiot. Okay, I take full responsibility for that one. I got too cocky with the slants. Dang it. This is just so bizarre, dude. We're only down eight points in the fourth quarter. We actually have a chance to still win this game somehow. So, defense needs to step up right here if we have any hope of winning this game. That's for sure. We're going to play very aggressive defense right here. Okay, they're passing. Should be defense. No. Not defense. Well, fudge. That's game over. Another year with just not that many guys graduated. I'm kind of shocked. I thought it'd be at least like 10. It looks to be like, I don't know, like 7 or 8 or something like that. So, I mean, these guys are all solid players. Like, most of them started for us. It's going to suck saying goodbye. But, I mean, we're really not going to be missing much next year. 62nd ranked class for Coach Tickles. I'm very, very happy with what he did, man. You guys will see it. I feel like we got some studs. And this is the class. A 20-man haul. Very, very big class. Very Lizzo-like. I'm happy with how it went, honestly. I mean, there's not that many, like, high overall guys. But there's a ton of guys that could develop in like four to five years, but should be good for us in the Big Ten, especially if you combine like the class that we're gonna have next year and we can recruit four and five star recruits. Like recruiting, it should continue to go really, really well for us. Isaco Charles is pretty solid. So is Emmanuel Scott Wesley, but they're both Jugos, which is very unfortunate. Demarcus Duvall's a stud though. Uh, Kevin Brown's really good. So is Darius Malchek. David Malbro is really good corner. Tyler Richardson, like we just signed a bunch of like 70, 69, 68 overalls, which I'm pretty happy with because in four to five years, these guys would be like 88, 89, 90 overall all players and you can win national titles with those guys especially if you consider the fact that next year we can go up to 45 star recruits which i could not wait for coach tickles i thought that the team would be a lot worse than what i'm looking at right now i honestly don't think that we're gonna win the big 10 by any stretch of the imagination but we should be able to be competitive like we should be able to beat i don't know a few teams i, I mean we beat ohio state last year with a team that was worse than this so i don't know we'll see what happens jason's back a quarterback four-year starter he's just such a stud Dude, i'm gonna miss him we need to recruit a quarterback this year though because after him i mean we could have nico play play for a year he's pretty solid but after that though we're gonna have to find like a four or five star quarterback that's really good that'd be really important this year and for the defensive side we have a really good quarterback dude start with Trent Shaver the six foot two hundred eighty one pound white DB so that's an anomaly right there and then also Dante Broussard Jr. I can't really tell he's white too he might be Mexican or something the face scans of this game are just not very good like he might be like a medium he probably is like a medium but it makes him look white it's weird I don't know how to explain it but either way they're both really good at corners so I'm sure they're gonna be great this year preseason coverage predictions were smack dab in the middle number four in the big 10 west 90 overall team so we're really not that bad uh looks like we're better than minnesota who's above us then we're a little bit worse than wisconsin and then uh, we're the same as iowa so we'll see how things go but we should be able to be competitive that's for sure undefeated start of the season let's go man number 20 in the country too so we're ranked we've really acclimated to the big 10 well it looks like our offense has been good so is our defense especially so i don't know man i'm just happy to see it let's go oh this is superb dude every single win has been dominant so far i mean all the teams we've beaten are not great but at least we're taking care of business. Uh, that's going to be the silver lining for me. I'm just going to decide to look at it that way. Oh, man. This is going to be a battle. We're playing Ohio State this week at home. I don't know how they've already lost the game. They're very, very good. They're 99 overall across the board. So this could be a challenge, but I think we're up for it, Coach Tickles. And for this game against the Buckeyes, we have a lot of high-profile guys visiting. If we can somehow win this game by some miracle, I really do believe that we can get a lot of these guys coming in. That'd be very, very good for us on the recruiting trail. So let's just go out there, Coach Tickles, and hopefully pull off the upset. Oh, man. 
Dude, now it's in the score first. That would not be good for team morale. Come on, guys. Hanker down. Please. Fumble. Interception. Oh, my God. How do you just catch that? that? Guy's tall. Oh, my goodness, dude. He's very tall. Still that 7 0 in our offense. Just could not move the ball right now, man. It's not a good situation. Hopefully, the defense could get an interception or a fumble right here because we desperately need it. Oh, God. Why is their quarterback so big and tall? We're playing against a bunch of genetic freaks, man. This is... Ugh. Gosh. All right, guys, we're still hanging in there. We need to get a stop right here in this third and 12, though. That is a non-negotiable. Get a stop here, boys. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Please do not get mossed. What? Dude, really? Oh, man. That's really how we're going to lose. Dude, the Falcons lose his mind, too. Like, what was our DB doing? If they make this, we're screwed, dude. We really need somebody to make a play. Somebody burst through the line of scrimmage and block it. Do something cool and... Oh, wait. They have a back kicker. Shake. Right. Let's go! <laughs> okay, we have life. We need a touchdown and then a two-point. Their kicker sucks. I did not expect that. Let's go, man. A million slants on the field here, Jason. This is the cheat code play. Up, oh, touchdown. Let's go! Okay. So go over two here, Jason Allen. Go over two. We're going for the W. Okay, I'm an idiot. I accidentally clicked the field goal thing, and I don't want to take a delay of game, so I guess I kind of just have to kick this. I feel stupid. I wish I had a timeout. I'm dumb, okay? That's my fault. We're going to have to go to overtime, which I did not want to do, but we can still win this game. We got this. Oh, circle. Let's touch on Jason. Let's go. <laughs> what a catch. Oh, that was so beautiful. Okay, we're going for two. I did not expect him to. Oh, that was such a cool play. Good old reliable slants. You know this play like the back of your hands, buddy. Circle. We're gonna have. No, we're not. Oh my god, somebody. Oh, it's that good. Okay, defense. Need you here. Comes down to this. Who's the big dog? Who's gonna make a player right here? Who's gonna get a stop? Oh, it's a perfect play call. It's a perfect play call. No! <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, man. Oh, man. That sucks so much. God dang it, dude. If I didn't freaking get ice in the thingy and I clicked field goal, we would have won in regulation. That was my fault. God dang it. Shoot. We picked up six guys even though we've lost, so I'm happy about that. 80 overall wide receiver. Got this guy named Todd Madsen. That's my dad's name, so that's kind of cool. Jacob Buchanan's really good. I mean, I'll be honest. I didn't think that many guys would commit, so seeing six guys commit after the win, that's a big W in my book. Yeah, absolutely. I love to see it, dude. In our first season, I know it's the Big Ten West. The Big Ten West sucks, but we went 10-2, 8-2 in the Big Ten. The points for and points against were both really impressive. 6-1 in our own division, so I mean, we dominated, man. We did a good job. Beat Iowa in overtime. That must have been an intense game. Also beat Nebraska. Our one loss was to Minnesota though and at home which sucks but the rest of the games he won had some close games but man we were just clutched the fourth quarter and we pulled all of them out so that's good to see sadly though for recruiting we've lost our top target on the board Sal Plummer he's going to USC I mean we wanted this guy so bad coach tickles was non-stop texting this kid and he just he went to USC and Lincoln Riley which is really disappointing as for the commits we have in the class though it's really really strong I'm happy with it it just Sal would have been like the, the icing on top of the cake you know like the Oreo ice cream cake love those dude he would have been the Oreo I mean we got two Two quarterback commits, but they're both like only 71 overall. They're not that great. We did pick up a tight end though, which we really needed an offensive lineman, some defensive linemen. I mean, some outside linebackers, just spreading it across, hitting all the positions that we needed. So I'm really happy with the class. Big 10 title game, Coach Tickles. And of course, it's Ohio State. We have a chance for revenge though. We should have beaten them in the regular season, but I was an idiot and I choked. So this is our chance to get it back and get it right. Let's go take care of business. Bada bing, bada boom. Mr. Rowat is a step in the room. I'm a hustler, baby, but you know, tonight is just me. X. Oh, that's such a good route combo i don't know like what that was but it worked really well good job tavita i don't know how we're in this position right now our defense has just smothered them we're up 14 to 3 i'm gonna sell for a field guard right here i'm gonna play it smart we have a really good lead right now and you not want to piss it away going for fourth down right here just make the kick mr kicker shane lee oh god our kicker's not that good but we still made it let's go boys playing good oh my gosh do we only have three points in the fourth quarter they have a chance to take the lead right here Come on, defense. Hold down the fort for us right here, please. Throw a pick, Lil Max, you big, tall Goliath. Oh, pick. Let's go! See, I freaking caught it! Let's go! Thank you, Lil Max. Let's go, man. That's being selfless. Thanks to Lil Max. Coach Tickles, we can partay, baby. We're going back to the playoff. I don't know what is happening right now. This team has it's got a little magic spark to it. I mean, we already lost two games, but the 12-team playoff, we're going to be in it, and us winning this game should definitely help out our seed, so that's really, really nice. Playoff, and once again, we're playing Texas a and I did not expect that to be Oklahoma. Hope it, but they did man they probably won't revenge so this is gonna be a tough game i think that passing right here yeah if we're running sl there's no way they can stop this dude the slants is op we got the out route with the tight end yeah touch on that a toughie ta he's fast man i like him at tight end he's got a little wiggle to his jiggle good start guys all right we're still doing decent we're up seven points so far so good we're gonna get this field right here though i really hope they have a crappy kicker like ohio state did that would be helpful please have a poopy kicker no they got a really oh my god yeah that guy's got a boot on him man so we're still four at halftime so i'm not too upset we're playing good we're up 11 points i don't understand how we're so good but we just keep playing really good football if we score a touch right here i think it's for sure ggs maybe we just have texas a&m's number i don't really know i mean i think it's gonna be a touchdown to be honest with you if i were to guess 
Yeah, it is. Martinez Alexander! Let's go. I don't, I have no explanation for this. I don't know how we're playing so well right now, but we're on to the semis. Upset, dude. Alabama, the 10 seed, beat UCF, and they beat Georgia, so we're taking them out in the semis. I don't really know how to feel. Like, I kind of feel like we're playing with house money right now. Like, we should not be in the semis, but let's just go out there and try our best. Let's see what we got, brother. Oh, God. I'm scared. Get out of there, Jason. Retreat! Retreat! Is that gonna be a touchdown, Jason? Oh my goodness gracious, Jason Brandon! Let's go, man. He's so good. I'm just in awe. I sincerely, I don't think I've ever had a team like the entirety of my YouTube channel that's this confusing. We are 90 overall and we are just putting body bags in these like 99 overall teams. We're up 21 to six. I have no complaints. I don't know what the defense does before every single game. Like if they get like in a circle and they have like a war chain or something. I don't know what it is, dude, but they're just dominant. I, we just keep doing what we're doing. I don't know how we're going to win this game, but just keep doing what we're doing. We're playing great. Alabama finally came back as they kind of expected. We're only up six points, so if we give up a touch right here, it might be bad news bears. So defense, let's cut it down. Please throw a pick. How that, you can't, it can't be that easy, bro. At least we have time. We have three timeouts, like 45 seconds. So still got a chance to win. I'll be honest. I do like this rock combo though. Here we go. No, okay. No, I don't like it. I'm an idiot. Oh my God. This one's on me and Jason gets pink. That's uh, disappointing. Well, freak dude. We lost. Demarcus DeVos transferred to Navy, but I mean, it sucks because he's a really good recruit, but he's doing an honorable thing. He's going to Navy, which is uh, obviously, you know, a service academy. So thank you for your service, Demarcus. Jason's the only guy that's going to get drafted from the senior class, which is just shocking me. He's only going in the seventh round too. I mean, I mean, all the games this guy has won, all the upsets that we've pulled off, and he's only going to the seventh round. Just remarkable to me. But this recruiting class that we had, or graduating class, I should say, with all these seniors, they were just remarkable, dude. They won a lot of games. Like, there's no doubt about it. Pig ape. I'm not going to get over that guy. It was so funny. But these guys, they turned this program around. There's no doubt about that. So thank you guys for your service. I'm going to miss all of you. Coach Tiggles is back for another Saturday day, and we have a full arsenal this time, a full artillery. We got 15,000 points to spend, and we're just putting 5K into all these guys. We're leaning for each of them, so I think we should be able to get all three. The only thing that worries me is one of these teams that are in second or third place is putting like 10,000 points into them because then we'd be chalked. But I think we'll go three for three. Yes, dude, we went three for three. We got Ronald, we got Derko, and then we also got David. All three DB guys. They're all really, really good at football. So this is Coach Tickle's signing class this year, and it is so good, dude. It could have been a lot better if we could have gotten that quarterback. I'm still very, very disappointed in that. But you know what, Coach Tickle, she's still did a great job on the trail. There's no doubt this is our best class so far as videos, so I'm happy. Ronnie Trice is really good from Texas. We dipped in there. Christian Gamish? I don't know what that is. Last name sounds like a type of uh, fish food or something. Trey Bradford's really good from Mansfield, Ohio. Harrison Spires, another guy from Ohio. Dierko White, also from Marietta, Ohio. So these guys are on the same high school football team. That's kind of cool. Got Jacob. I mean, we're just recruiting the Midwest really, really well. And Ohio. Like, Coach Tables just has a great recruiting strategy, man. Like, all these kids are from Ohio. It's just so smart. 33rd class of country. Honestly, I expected top 25. I'm kind of shocked by it. We signed six four stars, so it's kind of shocking. But either way, we're going to keep doing better recruiting, so I'm not really too worried. The new year is a rad kid. Coach Tickles, and I'm not gonna lie to you, dude, your team's a lot better than I thought it would be. I really thought this would be like a down year for us, and looking at the roster, I don't think it'll be a down year. Like, I think we should be able to compete in the Big Ten again, so we'll see how things go. The biggest question, though, I think is gonna be quarterback this year, but Nico Harris looks good on paper. He's only one overall lower than Jason. He's got higher speed. He's not as big and tall, but I mean, he's still a really good quarterback. He's been waiting the system, too. I think he'll be really, really solid. And the offensive line is really good, so they should be able to protect him. Got Jake Schrady at left tackle, Billy Rogers at left guard, 93 overall, Jake Henry at center, Tanner Gregory at right guard, I mean, our lowest overall is at right tackle, 81 overall, Chad O'Neill. He's not horrible, either. So the offensive line should be really, really good. Finished 10 and 2, one spot behind Wisconsin. So we probably have asked them in the head to head. I mean, it was a good season. We still have a chance to maybe sneak into the playoffs. So I can't be too upset, especially considering I thought the team would be a little bit worse. But all in all, Coach Tickles, I'm not really upset. I feel like we did a decent job this year. Our non conference was really not that impressive. Two very close wins against yucky teams. Then we went on a little bit of a tear. And then, oh my goodness, we lost to Nebraska, went 4 and 8. That is just, that's not what I was expecting. That's for sure. That we beat Iowa, Northwestern, Long Lost at Wisconsin by 12 at home. Not really too shocked by it, though. I mean, they're a 99 overall team. They're insane. Then we bounced back last game of the season, though. We beat the Gophers. For recruiting, though, we have our quarterback of the future, Randall Crawley, 89 overall, just a stud from New Jersey. We also got Jake Roberts, another really good quarterback, and then Connor Bean. So we have three amazing quarterbacks for the future. So that position should be a strength for the future, which is nice. As for the rest of the class, it's not really that impressive, unfortunately, for us. But I think a large part of that is the fact that I went really hard after three different quarterbacks. Probably overcompensated there a little bit, but 
but I mean, there's still some good players in the class. Like, I'm not that upset with it. The playoff is here, and we're playing Iowa. I mean, we beat them in the regular season. I know it was a close game, but I expect this to be a dogfight. Let's just see if we can try and pull out the dub. Yeah, we're already down seven points. Don't like seeing that, but we have a chance to skirt here, so let's just do that. Actually, we should run the ball. Yeah, there's, yeah, this is gonna be a touchdown. I don't know what, kind of, what Iowa's doing. Just stupid defense. We'll take the easy piece of touchdown to tie this game up. Good job, Princeton! Still trailing once again. They scored another field goal, but we're gonna tie it up right here. I just gotta make sure I don't shake this field goal. Oh, dude, it's such a beautiful day outside. That's the thing I don't get, dude. Like, people sleep in Ohio's weather. Like, there's no hurricanes, there's no tsunamis, there's no earthquakes. Like, Ohio would be a perfect place to live at if there was, like, a global apocalypse or something like that. But either way, we need to win the game. I need to stop talking. Oh, man, the offense has sucked today, dude. We need to convert this fourth and ten, or it's pretty obvious this game's gonna be over. So, come on, Nico. Come on, buddy. I believe in you, Nico. Triangle? First down, please. No. I'm so bad. I'm an idiot, dude. God dang it, Tanner. Okay, defense. No first downs. We still have a chance. I that was. I thought it was open. I'm an idiot. My fault. I'm sorry, Nico. Bring the safeties down. Let's play aggressive. They're obviously gonna run the ball. Make a tackle, please. Ugh. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's first down. Is yeah, that's game over, dude. God dang it! I really, yeah, I thought we'd win this game. I blow it, dude. It's my fault. Caleb is staying for another season, so that is very, very huge. If he could be a 99 next year, I think it's the first 99 we've had so far. Those videos, so that would be clutch. Billy Rogers is gonna get drafted in the seventh round, though, man. We really have not had high like round draft picks. Like last year was a seventh rounder for Mr. Brodnax, and now Billy Rogers, another seventh rounder, man. It's disappointing. And for the guys graduating, there's really not that many. I'm gonna miss Nico though. He was pretty good in his one year starting. Also gonna miss Tanner Gregory. Uh, Princeton Hall, man, was really, really good he's got a cool first name too but all in all there's really not that many guys leaving us so next year's team should return a lot side days here for coach tickles and you guys have already seen most of the class we picked up some guys on signing day only three but i mean all in all it's a really good haul i mean there's only 15 guys i was kind of disappointed with the fact that most of our best guys in this class are all quarterbacks but it's really the only positional weakness we have for the future so i made sure to address that and i feel like we did it in a great way you guys all know about randall crawley though easy the best recruit we've had so far this video he's gonna start instantly at quarterback at least i'd imagine also dreamius evans that is such a sweet name Dreamius, I love that. Rashad Irving's really good. Griffin Welch, Connor B, another quarterback. Still Harris, like Dylan Stevens. We recruited offense really well this cycle. We needed a running back too, and we got one, so that's nice. It's gotta be top 25 this time, right? Yeah, 15th class in the country. up to a four-star T prestige school, so that's nice. Two five-stars, seven four-stars. I told you, man, we'd climb up. I'm expecting another climb up next year too for Coach Tickles, man. He just keeps getting better and better at recruiting. I think the things are trending up in a big, big way, which is nice. Hold the phone. Griffin Welch is an 89 overall quarterback. Is a G oh my my God, we might have found a little quarterback competition here between uh, Randall and Griffin. I mean, I'm gladly invited, especially because Griffin's got 89 speed. Who, man, this could get interesting. Oh, wow. Once again, I keep repeating it. I feel like I'm saying the same thing every season, but this team, the training results have arrived and it is a lot better than I anticipated. Holy smokes. Yeah, okay. There is a for sure chance that we can win a national title this season. This is without a doubt the best team we've had so far this video. So things are about to get really interesting, man. Whoo, man, training results. It's very, very, very beautiful. Love it. Griffin Waltz is going to be the quarterback this year. It just has to be him. He has more experience than Randall. I mean, Randall definitely has a higher ceiling. He's just a true fresher. He's the same overall. But Griffin's also 20 speed higher. And you guys know I love guys that are fast. So, yeah, I think this guy is a perfect scheme fit for us. I think he's going to be a really, really good quarterback. And it's not like he can't throw either. Like, he's just a perfect dull threat. I think he's going to be really, really good. As for the defense side of the ball, Kale Bryant, he's been a four year starter. This guy is so good at football. 98 overall, 6'3, 231 from uh, Michigan. He's like a state away. Yeah, Ohio's close to Michigan. Yeah, this guy's just been really good for us here. And then defensive tackle, we have Deviant Gaines. He's six foot two thirty-two as a defensive tackle. I don't know how that works. He's like a little pit bull in the middle of the defense. He's got 81 speed though, so he's definitely fast. I mean, he kind of has to be. He's got 86 strength too, so yeah, he's a little pit bull. He's a strong guy too. 10 and 2. Once again, I really thought the Big Ten West would be ours this year, man. 97 overall team, but looks like Wisconsin, also a 97 overall team. They bested us. I mean, our defense was really good, so is our offense. It's just, you know, Wisconsin, which is a little bit better in the regular season. Educated guests would say that we lost to Wisconsin pretty clearly, but I'm curious who was the other Big Ten team that we lost to. Nobody said, yeah, I, well, I lost to them by one at home too, man. That's disappointing. Beat Northwestern. Yeah, there's the Wisconsin loss on the road by two, but at least we ended the season smack in Minnesota, so that's good for morale. For the recruiting class this year, Coach Tick has done a phenomenal job, and we got an 85 overall Sean Scurry. I think it's nice to see that he looks really good. A 79 overall. I mean, it's probably one of the best classes we've had so far this video. Like, the lowest overall is, what, a 70? I mean, there's just a boatload of 70, 71 overalls. I mean, this class is a lot of depth. We already have what, 19 commits, man? It's just really, really strong. Take on UCLA in the first round of the playoff. They're the 10 seed. I'm kind of
kind of worried because they've been really good this entire video. But if we do manage to win this game, we're going to have a revenge chance against Edwards Canton. So that'll be interesting, Coach Tickles. Start strong, boys. Got a little snowstorm. It's very, very awesome. Dude. I love the snow. We're up seven points, though, early on, which is nice to see. And uh, they're going to get this field goal. Hopefully, they. Yeah, there's no chance. See, the snow didn't even stop them anyway. Up seven to six. Our offense has really struggled. I mean, I could blame the snow, but it's not the snow's fault because their offense is doing just fine. They have the ball. They're about to take the lead. I really hope they don't score a touch right here, but I'm not that optimistic. Please, something could happen. Something could happen. Something could happen. Get out there. Arr! Nope. Nope. Dang it. We're down three points, Gryffindor. We need you to step up right here, dude. If we can get touchdown, we can put this game away and pick up the W. Let's go, Gryffindor. I believe in you. Cast some spells. I think that handed the ball off right here, Gryffindor. is a smart approach to Mowilski. Come on, Mowilski. Come on, Mowilski. Get in there, buddy. Fight for me. Let's go. Okay. Defense. Get a stop. Let's win the game. Let's move on. If we can just get a sack right here with our 98 overall defensive end, that would be nice. Oh, yeah. 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 Dude, dude, let's go. That's the way to end of the game, dude. He just freaking clubbed the left, uh, the right tackle in the face and he dove for the sack. Let's go, man. Got Wisconsin in the next round. We lost to him in the regular season on the road. I think it was a really close game. So I'm expecting a dogfight just like the UCLA game, but I think we can pull it out. It's time to cast some spells today, Gryffindor. Need a touch right here, baby. Need a touch. Need it. Need it. Need it. Need it. I don't know what just happened right there, but Isaiah with a Z just made a crazy play. Let's go, guys. Good start. Up four points. They're playing pretty good so far. A touch right here, though. It would go a long way for us. So let's try to get seven right here, Griffin. Got to be sure that wand is still working right here, Gryffindor. Read option right here, baby cakes. Let's see if this wand is still working. It's a keeper. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Let's go, man. Play great right now. Keep it going, guys. Beautiful spot to be in right now. We're up four points. The offense did really, really well this game. All we need is one first center here, Griffin. And it should be GG's in the chat, man. There it is. There it is. Catch it. What in the balls? He just didn't look up man okay i know this is stupid i'm gonna go for it right here i i, I want to finish this game i have no idea what my tight end was doing right there dude as chris smooth would say that guy needs a map let me tell you mr od guy zuwa needed a map right there goodness gracious first down right here please please give me a first down od guzua oh my god i say ya okay well defense we need to stop i swear if we lose like this i will never forgive myself dude come on defense please get a stop defense wins championships oh no oh no he's on the run he's on the run uh, I'll be honest, I just simulated to the next possession, and somehow we scored, so I'm guessing we got a, uh, kick return touchdown, so hey, man, I can't complain, now we got eight seconds, just do not get mossed, dude, we got very, very lucky right there, just do not get mossed right here, Tanner, can we just get a sack like that last time, oh, no, they have a chance, please, yes, let's go, da -da yeah, all right, GG's, man, another nail-biting win, can we just, like, win some of these games by a lot more points, would be a lot less stressful for Coach Tickles, but we're out of the semis, nonetheless, Ohio State as the 11th seed has made a little bit of a run. I mean, granted, they beat Navy, so it's not really that impressive. I don't know how Navy was the three seed, but either way, it doesn't matter. We need to be Ohio State, and I just realized we have not played Ohio State the last two seasons. That's on me. I forgot to make that a protective rivalry in the Big Ten, so yeah, that's my fault, but now we get to take them on anyway, so it's whatever. Up 7 nothing early. I mean, Gryffindor is playing phenomenal, dude. He's training Ohio State like they're slithering. I mean, he's just giving them the Harry Potter treatment. Like, everything is going to plan. Is X gonna be a touchdown? No, he's not, but Square is down. Ha <laughs> ha, Gryffindor! Let's go, baby. We're playing great now, dude. Let's just keep it going. It's late like in the fourth quarter. There's not that much time left. Of course, it's tied up. I was hoping that we'd blow them out. That did not happen. All we really need to do, though, is just get a first down, get in the field goal range, and then just kick this baby home. If we could just hit this out and get a first down, that makes this a lot less stressful. Oh, there we go. Spin! Oh, that was cool. I like that. Okay, yeah. Now we're definitely in field goal range. We have a really good kicker, too. We should be able to just kick this bad boy home. Million IQ player here, Coach Tickles. They're not even trying to ice the kicker because we had the field goal unit out there for like 20 seconds already. All right, so make sure you get this meter right. It's very wickly dickly. There we go. Get that up and throw. Come on. Come on. Never purple. Let's go. Come on now. All right. Three point lead. Nothing stupid. No funny business. Let's get a dub. I think the only thing that stresses me out more than like these Hail Marys is the fact that I'm drinking probably an unhealthy amount of C4 right now in my life. The Skittles flavor is so good. So it's the strawberry, uh, the cherry one that's, uh, the Starburst. It's really good too. And I think it's like popsicle. One. I, I, I need to stop talking. We got the win. We're going on to the national title game. Let's go take care of business, men. If you're asking me if I'm worried playing undefeated tech, Heck yeah, I'm worried, dude. I'm sure their team is full of genetically gifted specimens. I'm also like 90% sure I'm suffering withdrawal from my C4 right now. So my confidence in us winning isn't very high. Just hand it over here. Let's get a nice hard start. Yes, get the yards. Let's go. Who's star? Okay, good start, guys. There's still tons of game left, though. So we got to keep playing good. The offense has really sucked ever since that touchdown, huh, Gryffindor? We're down 9-7, but we can score right here. We'll be all right. Circle. Square. 
Let's go! That's a slant, dude. Double slant, cheat code. Let's go, Pita! Oh my god, it might actually happen, guys. We're up 15 points. All we need to do is just get a stop right here. And uh, yeah, it should be GG's in the chat, Coach Tickles. Let's see, man. Tackle, please. Let's go, cool hit. Are they really punting right here? Oh my goodness. Dude. We just stopped them on that third down and they're punting. Like, what? Uh, yeah, hell, I don't... Either, are they even trying to win at this point? Well, I don't care, dude. I guess they're conceding. I'll take the W, man. Let's go! Let's go, Coach Tickles. We win the National Championship, baby cakes. I mean, this was, what, our fourth? Yeah, this is our fourth playoff. Kind of crazy to think about. And also something else that's kind of weird is, like, this was the largest margin of victory we had the entire playoff was against a 14... Actually, a 15-0 Texas team. That just doesn't make any sense, man. The math is not math in there, but either way, we got the dub and the national title for Coach Tickles. Early on, Coach Tickles, we were really struggling, dude. I mean, as expected, it was a team full of walk-ons, the 5-7 and seven season. Then we bursted through to 13-2, and two, which I did not expect to see. And then after that, dude, we went to four straight playoffs, but in the fourth one, we finally capped it off with a national title. If you enjoyed the video, click me on the screen where I try to do what Mel Tucker couldn't and win Michigan State a national title.